welcome back to Twin State Sports. I'm Bailey Wilborn filling in for Zach. The New Orleans Saints will have two joint practices with the LA Chargers on Thursday and Friday of this week. And linebacker Demario Davis says he looks forward to getting out there and going against new faces in training camp. I think our time in LA uh, last year was, was really helpful. It's a good group out there. Um, I uh, really like a Lynn, like what he's doing with the organization. A lot of great players out there. Look, a lot of cross work that we can do. It's always good when you can practice against uh, somebody other than the same face. Just to get another look, different type of tempo. With one scrimmage and a week of practice under their belt, the Ole Miss football team is in the thick of fall camp. They are just three weeks away from the season opener on August 31st in Memphis. After this weekend scrimmage, it was pretty obvious that the Rebels still have a lot of work to do if they want a week one win. Tempo and speed are the main focuses of the offense. They want to be able to go full throttle for the entire game and overwhelm opposing defenses. 40 top NBA rookies, including Zion Williamson, gathered at Farley Dickinson University for the 2019 Panini NBA rookie photo shoot. Panini America is the exclusive NBA trading card and sticker partner. Many consider today's photo opportunity to be a rite of passage for the rookies as they prepare to fulfill a lifelong dream of playing in the NBA. The NBA rookie cards are already available on the Panini Instant platform and throughout the entire 2019-2020 season. Well, speaking of the new season, the NBA has released their upcoming schedule. Opening night is October 22nd, and we'll get to see Zion Williamson in the Pelicans right away. They will be in Toronto, where the Raptors will celebrate their NBA championship. The Lakers and Clippers will play later that night. The second and third drafts in the draft, the third picks in the draft, John Morant and R.J. Barrett, are set to make their debuts on the following night. The league's Christmas Day lineup includes five games, including the Pelicans taking on the Nuggets. Former All-Star Alex Rodriguez had $500,000 worth of watches, jewelry, electronics, and other items stolen from him at his car Sunday night in San Francisco. Rodriguez was in the Bay Area as part of ESPN's Sunday Night Baseball crew, covering the Phillies and Giants game at Oracle Park. After the game, he went out to dinner, and that's when he was robbed. Rodriguez released a statement saying several items that were of a personal nature are in irreplaceable with sentimental value were taken. Well, first it was his feet and then it was his helmet. Antonio Brown told the Raiders in the NFL that he would not play football ever again if he couldn't wear his old helmet. But the NFL doesn't really care. Uh, according to reports, Brown lost his appeal to wear the helmet and he has worn for 10 years. Brown's old helmet is no longer certified for use in the league. Brown took to Instagram to say he disagrees with the arbiter's decision, but he's looking forward to rejoining his teammates. And he, in fact, did join his team today after all that bluffing. 